Hi, this is video number two in our discussion of cough. Typically at the physician's office, you'll be asked a series of questions concerning your cough. You will be asked to describe the cough, the length of time you have had the cough. Do you produce sputum? If yes, then how much? A teaspoonful, a cupful? What color is it? Have you had a fever? Have you had chest pain? Are there chills? Are there sweats? Are you wheezing? Do you have a history of asthma? Do you smoke? If you do, how much? What do you do for work? Any exposure to asbestos? Any exposure to chemicals? Could you have swallowed something and it got caught in your airway? A possible obstruction that could be causing strider or wheezing. A physical examination will be of a general nature, with the primary focus being on the head, neck, lungs, and heart. Your lower extremities will be checked for swelling and edema. A sputum sample may be requested, so it can be examined. Your physician may also order additional laboratory tests and imaging studies, depending on the severity of any disease. You may also be referred to a pulmonologist for a bronchoscopy. Bronchoscopy is a test to examine your airways. The doctor will thread an instrument called a bronchoscope through your nose or mouth and down your throat to reach your lungs. A bronchoscope is made of a flexible fiber optic material that has a light source and a camera on the end for visualization of the lung tissue. The doctor may also collect a small piece of tissue from either the lung or a nearby lymph node. These tissue samples can aid the doctor in detecting cancer, infections, sarcoidosis, a rheumatological disorder, which can affect the respiratory system and other conditions. Cough in children. Common causes of cough in children are asthma, acute upper respiratory infections, and allergic rhinitis. If the cough is recalcitrant to initial treatment, then further investigation is justified to rule out gastrointestinal reflux, cystic fibrosis, croup, foreign body inhalation, pneumonia, or a tracheoesophageal fistula. A tracheoesophageal fistula is an abnormal connection in one or more places between the esophagus, again the tube that leads from the throat to the stomach, and the trachea, the tube that leads from the throat to the windpipe and lungs. Croup, inflammation of the trachea or windpipe and bronchi is common around children six months through three years of age. It has a barking cough. Cough in the elderly should be investigated for lung cancer, congestive heart failure, chronic bronchitis and bronchiectasis. Cough may be the result of a common cold or something more severe. The key to treatment is the correct diagnosis. We will not go into treatment here. We will leave that to you and your doctor to discuss. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.